Hey guys, it's Timmy here, and welcome back to Underdog, and if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know Underdog was a series I did back in Black Ops 2, where I would show you guys a certain class for a certain gun in Black Ops 2, and now I'm bringing it back for Titanfall, but I'm going to change it and make it a little bit different. With Titanfall, there's not many primary weapons. I mean, for the pilot weapons, there's only around 10 or so. So, what I'm going to do is instead of just choosing certain guns to do Underdog Episodes 4, I'm going to do all the guns, all the primaries, and show you guys a class that I think works best for the gun, and give you guys tips and advice on what to do with these guns. So let's get into it. Welcome to Underdog. In today's episode of Underdog, we're going to be going over the R101C Carbine. Now, the R101C is probably the first gun you will use in Titanfall. It's the first unlock that you get, and really, it's the most popular assault rifle, carbine, whatever you want to call it. So, you're going to probably have the most experience with it, which makes it actually a really good weapon to have in your loadouts, because you'll always be accustomed to it. You always know how it feels because you're always using it. So it's really good and let's get into the damage of it. First things first, damage of the R101C. It has 50 damage of a maximum and then it lowers down to 40 damage for a minimum. Now that seems like a lot and if you played Call of Duty that seems really high compared to say the health. But let's talk about the health first in this episode. The health for the pilots and the specters, they both have the same health model, is 200, which makes the R101C a 4-5 to five shot kill on pilots and specters. Now grunts, they only have 100 health, meaning it only takes 2-3 to three shots to kill them. Obviously they're grunts, so they have lower health. Makes sense. But since the pilots have much higher health, this is a very middle of the range, very average assault rifle compared to like damage wise it's very average but it feels very right so it's still really good like damage wise compared to the other guns in the game but it's very average but it's the damage is really good for what it is in its class now the rate of fire for the r101c is fast it's pretty fast compared to say a lot of the lower end rifles in the game some of the rifles only shoot around 500 or so rpm but it doesn't shoot as fast as the SMGs that shoot close to 1,000 rounds per minute. The R101C shoots at 810 rounds per minute, which is very fast. You'll be able to put your targets down very quickly. The one problem is, though, is that your reload time is pretty long. Compared to, say, certain other games, reload times are a bit longer. For an empty reload with the R101C, it's about 2.9 seconds, and a reload with bolts still in the magazine is 2.2 seconds, which may seem like pretty short, but if you're in a really hectic gunfight between a pilot and you, it can be pretty engaging, and you really want to get like those reloads as fast as possible. That's why I suggest using the perk that allows you to reload faster. You unlock it around like 43 or so, and you will actually can reload faster, making these times seem a little bit less, a little bit more bearable, and help you really get back into the fight because you really don't want to be caught with your pants down. The magazine size for the R101C is 30 rounds. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but that's basically run of the mill average for the guns that you'll see in the game. It's not really so much compared to, say, the SMG, which has 40 rounds. But 30 rounds is enough compared to the higher damage that the R101C has. So it's really good, and if you would like, you could put extended bag. Now for my loadout for the R101C, I like to use the HCOG with the suppressor. Now let me explain. There are three types of optics that you could choose for the R101C. There's the HCOG, there is a holographic sight, and then there's uh, one more sight that's more of like a zoomed in kind of sight. Now the zoomed in kind of sight doesn't really work well with the R101C. It has, the R101C has a little bit more recoil than you would expect for longer range combat and the lower damage is not really that useful for longer range combat. And personally the holographic sight, the circle's too big to properly aim on faster moving targets. So I like the HCOG. It's a very small a little triangle and you'll be able to easily keep your target on your enemy and it'll be really easy and that's just my personal favorite optic. Now for a attachment that you could use, 
I use the suppressor when you're shooting grunts and attrition you really don't want to be on the radar so using a suppressor will help it does lower your damage a bit meaning one more shot to kill at close and long range making it a little bit less powerful but I mean you have a high rate of fire you have 30 rounds in the magazine it's not gonna be a big deal for you and staying off the radar is definitely one of your main priorities with the R101C if you would like you could throw an extended mag if you want those extra rounds but I like the suppressor more I think it will really help you more if you have the suppressor on so yeah guys this has been the first episode of underdog for Titanfall I really hope you enjoyed and leave a like comment subscribe please like the video let's really try to get this series back up let's try to get a lot of views on here just like the first underdog because that was a great series and I really want to bring it back for Titanfall because I think we could really make a great series with Titanfall especially with underdog so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah I will see you all next time